Okay, hi there everybody. <clears throat> I was searching around for some barbecue sauce. I have a roast beef I did last night and it's more than I can do in one sitting with the family and everybody. So I'm thinking down the road for a barbecue beef, etc, uh, etc, et or for other dishes using barbecue sauce. So I went up to my little friend, uh, this guy, this hickory barbecue stuff from Kraft. Excellent, excellent, but I used it uh, on another dish uh, a while ago and it was sorely depleted. You can see the level, it's down here. Before I added to it, it was down to there. So, so what do you do? Run to the store, gas being what it is, forget that. Search the cupboards. So searching the cupboards, I did. Found some teriyaki soy here. Added a pretty good dollop of that into this thing. Opened it up, of course. And need a little more zing, uh, Worcestershire sauce. This is a Heinz variety, comes with many forms. Um, again, that's a combination of some really neat ingredients, uh, some of which are anchovies, which in a minute form, they are a powerful tool for modifying taste in barbecue. And uh, needing a little more thickening agent, a good old ketchup. Use the hunts this time. Uh, whatever you've got handy. Heinz is good. Hunts. Uh, there's others too. And moving along. Oh yeah, for the core ingredient in many barbecue sauces, uh, you need molasses. That's the core of A1 sauce and uh, many other steak sauces that can be incorporated in your own homemade barbecue sauce. I really don't like the focus on this compared to my Casio, but this is okay. Anyways, got that in there, and then for just a little coup de gras, uh, my daughter brought this back from College World. It's a uh, crow's foot or something. Oh, well, we got a visitor, and that's what I used. A little bit of that, some of this, a lot of that, lesser of this, some of that. Mix it all together, and I've got one dandy barbecue sauce. Wouldn't you agree? Just say yes. Okay. She's my uh, hot sauce uh, go-to person. It was kicking rooster, or what do you call that, Kate? Sriracha. Sriracha, okay, a little tiny bit of that, not much more than a thimbleful, or you'll, you're, you'll be on fire. Okay, that's it for the short quip of how to rejuvenate your barbecue. And again, oh, I just, well, I could have added a little honey to that, but it's sweet enough, so how sweet it is. This is it for June 1. Happy Dairy Month, everybody.